Yeah. Sean's not picking up his mobile. You know, I hope he's all right. <sighs> he disappeared before all this happened, didn't he? He'll be fine. He's probably just seen it's you ringing and not answered the phone. I know what I do. Oh, hey, he's probably gone shopping. You know, we see bomb scares. He sees shop opportunity. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Did you not wonder where I was? Just thought you'd nipped out. Could have been dead in that cellar. I've never forgiven myself. Hey, I am practically a war hero here. Shit. If you were down that cellar looking at them magazines of yours, they'll be able to bear. I... No, she, she means the, the drumming magazines. Wipe that thought from your mind. It is entirely feasible that a, a bomb dropped by the Germans should remain <coughs> undetected all these years. I think I might have a chop for my tea. There was one discovered recently in the garden of a house in Dorset. Yeah, with new potatoes. <laughs> On that side of the road, that, that's where the old raincoat factory would have been. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the Jerrys were targeting Packamax. Yes, but... If the bomb were to, say, land, land yeah. on a hillock or, or, or a mound of earth, which was then levelled off later, that, that would explain why they're saying it's so close to the surface. But why did they bomb Manchester? I thought it weren't till Oasis that we went on the map. <laughs> well, it, it was, it was, they were headed for Liverpool, the, the docks, some of them. And they, quite often they'd begin to run low on fuel around here, so they'd offload the bombs and turn back. Got, some deliberately targeted Manchester. But talking of dropping bombs, do you know where the lives are? Hi there. Oh, Hayley, where have you been? I've been, I've been worried to death. Yeah. Well, I just nipped into town with some girls. Yeah. Wait till you see me new boots. You're only 15 pounds. I've been ringing your mobile incessantly. Oh, yeah, I, I left it in Patrick by accident. It's been going out of his mind here. Oh. Did you not think that I'd be worried? Well, Mr Connie said it were a bomb scare, and to be honest, I, I just thought it would be pranksters or something. Oh, I am sorry, Roy. I've been imagining all sorts. Oh, well, she's here now, eh, Roy? You want to talk about it, Roy? Come and sit down. No, I'm, I'm all right. It's all right. What exactly has happened? I mean, I know we're not allowed onto the streets or anything, but no-one will actually tell us why. I'm telling you, mate, that metal detector's going in the bin. It's more yeah. trouble than it's worth. Well, if it weren't for the detector, yeah. that bomb could have gone off at any time. Right. And killed Ashley and Claire. She could have been pegging out of smalls, and next thing she knows, she's at the Purdy Gates. Pearly Gates? <laughs> Is that Cotney Rhyming slang or something? <laughs> Anybody fancy a sing song? I say, Rita, we could do sisters. There's a piano back there. I think I'm dehydrated. Oh, it'll be the shock. Or oh, the 85 brandies she's thrown down her gizzard, one of the two. What's the matter with you? You're up and down. Have you got ants in your pants or what? Yeah. This is starting to get on my nerves now. Productivity's going to be screwed. Oh, it must be lovely to be young and have a purpose. You don't have to be young to have a purpose. If there isn't a bar, where did he get that pint? I wish you'd stop going on about Jack. It's a bit like the May Blitz in here, isn't it? <laughs> well, God help anyone in a GI's uniform. <laughs> Don't know when, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again. Yeah, that's very, very nice, yeah. No problem, bring you one over. You know, at your place, just Bill pay rent. 
I shall keep my answer here. Try and maintain the allure of my feminine mystique. You take that as a no, then. <sighs> Gail, we're friends. He knows which side his bread's buttered. Well, maybe. Sometimes you just don't need to care about money. You want your head testing. Do you love him? Oh, I was just remembering the wall. That is not answering my question. Don't mind if I... Uh... No? You know, when I was little, I'd spend hours in the communal shelter watching my auntie Lily giving her hair like Deanna Durbin. <laughs> After I should be putting these rags in her hair. You know, it was a work of art. I think that's what got me interested in hairdressing, actually. Gail, love comes in all shapes and sizes. Stand by. Firing now. You've been brilliant. Uh, what time is thanks it, for Doris? Have you in bed, Richard? Thank you. Do you know, I feel like there should be sound in the all clear. <laughs> oh, come on, Mrs Mandeville, love. Let's see if we can salvage that demi wave. The amount of time that perm solution's been on, she's going to finish up looking like me or so. <laughs> Paul? Mm. You're all right, looking a bit jippy. You know how I hate wasting time. Can you imagine how much money we've lost this afternoon? Yes, but imagine the inconvenience if your staff had died in the bomb. Oh, well, that swings and roundabouts, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, Casey. Hi, it's Claire. How are you feeling today? See you right. Oh, lads! Now, you listen to me. The first drink in the Rovers is on me. You have been belted. Hey, look, don't go overboard. caused by a controlled explosion. Imagine the devastation if it had gone off. Unbelievable. We we'll just finished redecorating, but our window's blown through. Yeah, we'll take care and remember one day at a time. See ya. Oh, no! It's decapitated Mr Grumpsy. What? You know you're not supposed to get close to your callers. Ashley, I said I'd ring Casey back and I did. It's hardly right in tandem together through centre parks. Who's Casey? Some girl she was counselling last night, don't ask. She lost a kiddie. You're not supposed to do that. You know you're not supposed to do that. Actually, it was just one phone call. So how did it go last night? Tiring. I just want to give something back. Oh. Poor Mr Grumpsy. Bit of super glue. The right is ready in no time. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> and although we have lost a considerable amount of time, I'm afraid legally, because it was a bomb scare, we're not obliged to make it up. Unless, of course, you prefer to pay us all the time. Evening, ladies. Is this Vicky? Uh, no, this is Katja. Vicky's on her way. Oh, she's dead lovely, is Katja. <laughs> We're English as well, dodgy. But so is my turbo, what's it, or wherever she's from? <laughs> yes, I know, would have done. Thank Listen, you. I've got the designs laid out in the office. Fancy bushes? Yeah? Great. As long as it doesn't take up too much air time, darling. Kelly! Office. I cannot believe she's going through with it! Scab. More excitement today. I oh, know, it's been mental, hasn't it? She wasn't talking to you. Uh, this is a public house. My public house. And conversations take place in a public arena. Oh, look. It's Michelle's boyfriend. The really good-looking one. He's your eyes testing, dear. Hey, you. 
Are you? Hey, you missed all the excitement today. I know, I got your text. All right, Steve. Oh, hi. Yeah, we had a blast today. Uh, that is offensive to bomb victims, actually. Since when did you become PC? Uh, you remember Tracy, Steve's missus. Of course. Hi. Hi. Uh, she's not my missus. Well, I'm not your flipping mother-in-law. Hello, Sean. <clears throat> is anyone getting you a drink? I'd like a lager top, please. Got to be attentive to you fellas, Michelle. Fellas plural? Thanks. Otherwise, they'll stray. Oh. Don't give him any ideas. Though, Sonny only has eyes for Michelle, Tracy, isn't that right? I'm a one-woman man, me. Well, that's great. You see, I'm a firm believer in, um, monogamy. Yes, yes. So much so that the last person who cheated on her ended up six feet under. So have, uh, you two spoken then, or...? How do you mean? About changing your phone? Oh, no. No, not yet. Uh, one pint of lager. I wanted top. Uh, but I thought you said you had. Oh, I'm still a bit funny after the bomb. <laughs> you weren't even here. You were at the Trafford Centre. I know, but I can, um, I can pick up on the vibes. I feel people's pain. Babes. Tell you what, I've blitzed my credit card today. Got loads of new stuff for Holly though. And look, for Bethany. Ooh, she's gonna be well chuffed. What is it? It's one of them princess costumes. Ones with wings and all that. Where is she? Oh, she's at a party in Clump, so I've got to go and pick her up in a bit. Hey, I was on the phone to her man before. She had told a wind-up merchant. Why? Well, she tried telling me a bomb had gone off in Claire and Ashley's back garden. She's officially lost the plot, I think. What? Come with me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the stuff that comes out of that Eileen's mouth, eh, Jay? <laughs> Not the brightest button in the box, are you, Jason? Well, yes, Jack. Give us some wet, large and alcoholic. Oh, I don't think Janice is in tonight. Oh. You only stopped me putting a fiver on the horse before you. Be coming. One. Six to one. Thirty quid I am down. Flaming love buffer. Well, I'm absolutely disgusted by her. She's a scab. Kelly is a scab. I can't believe she's agreed to work for Carla for peanuts. It debases our skills. It's demeaning and belittling. I mean, is she really that desperate? Well, it sets a really bad precedent. I mean, it makes women like her get away with murder. Well, maybe it's because she's got the arts for Liam. But how come working for Carla and dearer to him? Yeah, it's Carla from what I've seen. Oh, got good taste. Nobody should work for less than the minimum wage. Nobody. That's why it's called the minimum wage. And if you accept less, well, she's obviously got no self-respect. Well, it leaves a very unpleasant taste in my mouth. I mean, I'm never going to be Kelly's best friend, but at least I like to believe I'm on the same wavelength as people I'm working with. I mean, I'm not a political person, but this is a matter of principle, surely. Well, you know what'll happen next, don't you? The blokes in the Connor family will get wind of Carla's little scam. Next thing you know, we'll be asked to work for less than minimum wage. And if we don't do it, they'll bust in a load of scabs to do the work for us. It's happening up and down the country. She's a very silly, misguided girl. What about your friend Becky? She does it. Ah, yeah, but Becky's a very troubled individual. Kelly should know better. She is struggling to pay the bills, mind. Well, then she should spend less on miniskirts and more time at home saving for a rainy day. Do you know, I do like your boots, Hermie. Oh, oh, thanks. Going off them by the second, actually. I keep thinking they'd be made in some sweatshop by a poor slave child for three shekels an hour. Mind you, they are comfy. I, I like a comfy boot, don't you? Especially in the winter. Mm. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, that's a good scene. Uh, I need a wash. Can I get a pint of it? Come to me, please. Oi! You fancy her, don't you? You fancy that slapper from behind the bar. Well, she's not a slapper and you're not allowed in here. Yeah, well, I always go where I'm not allowed. Well, do you mind? Oh, what? My pub, my rules. Don't worry, Steve. It's not like I haven't seen it all before, is it? I don't know what you're getting antsy for. It's not like we're even going out with each other, is it? Don't mind me. Look, I know you thought that I was using you, Stevie Pie. But you better not be using me to make her jealous. Look, you was in here. 
He's had in a million years. All right. Well, she's pretty. But yeah, if you like that kind of thing. A word to the wise landlord. Do not play me off against another woman. Or I'll get sharpening my new set of kitchen knives. <laughs> <laughs> and wash your hands. That's cool. Baby love. Do, 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 do. You're happy. Honestly, you have more ups and downs than a roller coaster. Well, today I'm peachy, thank you very much. Stop pushing her so hard. Well, she likes it, don't you? Yes, you do. do. She's going to bring her breakfast up and I'll be the one copying for mopping it up. Oh, well, stick her in the backyard and hose her down. Oh, what a looking nice today. I've got Shirley, social worker, coming round. Again? I know. You're going to put Jason in a nice card and some slippers, prove he's a real dad? Actually, I uh, haven't told him. Why? Well, you know what his life is, under pressure and he's like a cornered rat. Morning, campers. I've uh, got Charlie's book here. I'm going to go through his contacts, see if there's any work going. Ooh, hark at Mr Initiative. You see all those years in Cub Scouts, did it pay off? Dip, dip, dip. See ya. I want to be ya. Hey, you were a kiss. That's progress. I think you'll find that that was meant for me. <laughs> you were difficult yesterday. Oh, yeah, with the bomb scare and everything. Oh, uh, no, I meant my new boots, actually. I took me just to choose them. Oh. <laughs> I got my first boots when I was 16. White leather. Oh, they only stayed up because they were elasticated. I had legs like bits of string back then. <laughs> I tried on some of them skinny boots. I couldn't get them off. I said to myself, if you want your boots back, you're going to have to... in this early. Hello? No, 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 no. It, it's fine, really. Just calm down. I can't tell what you're saying. Now, don't worry, Casey. I did say you could call me if it was an emergency. Are you sure that you still fit him? He says I give him a wedge, yeah. Sorry, can you just hold on one minute? Who is it? Give him here. These are aged three to four. It's not another one of your desperate housewives. It's Casey. Tell Josh to put his boxes on and put them in the glad bag. Hiya. No, no, no. It, it's fine, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can meet up. Um, just say where and when. Right, you are. I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. Bye. What do you want? To meet. Bit of a chat. Is that like against the rules? She signed it in a bit of a state, so uh, I think I'll make up my own rules. Just this once. No, well, that's you all over. Born to be wild. <laughs> so he's looking after Licklin. You couldn't take him to my mum's, could you? Go on then, see how it's you. Kelly, here's another little money-making idea for you. Why don't you sell your internal organs? Yeah, then you wouldn't have to work the night shift for three quid an hour. But, Joanne, if I didn't have any internal organs, I wouldn't be able to work at all, would I? Something's not right. You're telling me somebody has been messing with my chair and it took me forever to get it in the right place. Stanley's missing! You know, a few centimetres either way, and that's me in an elasticated bandage. Oh, you've not lost your little gonky thing. Yeah, and you know I give him a little rub every morning for good luck. He's not here. Oh, well, you could always give me a little rub instead, Fizzbon Brown. Uh, run at night shift, girls. Shove them in your drawer. And you just let her. Well, it was googly eyes, weren't it? Putting her off a stroke. Morning. Morning. Hi, Mr. Connor. Oh, it's been a right fuffle here this morning. The night shift lot have been messing with our stuff. What, they damaged something? Not yet, but if I don't get my chair right, I'll be a prime candidate for RSI. Oh, I've had that. Murder. Repetitive strain injury. It is a health and safety issue. So I had a click of the wrist a while ago. I even struggled to lift an omelette pan. I just wanted to wish you good luck for later. I just thought I'd have a little bit of a tidy up before she came round. Have a seat. <laughs> Germs are good for kids anyway. Helps develop their immune systems. Are you saying I'm a slap and clear peacock? I'm saying nothing. Uh, good plan. <laughs> so, have you forgiven me for wrecking your garden? Oh, Josh doesn't want us to fill the hole in. Fancies a swimming pool. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> so, how are things with you and Jason and everything? Well, he blew her a kiss this morning. Oh, good, that's good. Yeah, I think now I'm not pecking his head. He can just relax with her and not see her as this terrible burden. 
Babies are hard work at the best of times. But to have one sort of dumped on you. Yeah. When she first showed up, I didn't know how the hell we'd cope. Now, well, can't imagine life without her. You, me, and Paula brewing on, will you? Oh, yeah, I'll bring them through in a minute. Cheers, Dom. And, er, uh, was well, a couple of bickies in there. <laughs> Give us that fig roll. You beauty. What's up with you? Did you have your eye on it? There's a chip in my mug. What, an actual chip? A chip potato? Hayley, I meant it's chipped. Oh, no, big disaster. What are you going to do? You can take the mick all you want. But when I'm rushed to casualty, you won't be laughing then, will you? And I've got my lip hanging off. Well, it'll be that lot again, won't it? It's like being possessed by poltergeist, this is. Stuff going missing and things not being as they should be. You want to learn to go with a flow look? And the creatures of habit, Mr Connor. We know what we like and we like what we know. Tell you what, swerve the fig roll. I'll have a custard cream instead. They're dangerous, though. Oh, last. That flaming bomb yesterday spoiled my drinking plans. Yeah, I've been gagging for this. Been making phone calls all morning. Not them mucky ones again. Don't be daft. Monday's me pervy calls day. I've been chasing work, haven't I? Ah, good idea. That fast food shop's gonna be finished in a couple of days, isn't it? Yeah, I'll be glad to see the back of that, Jody. Talk about air rake. So what do you reckon, Bill? Any more work comes our way, you up for it? Ah, yeah. Can't be him. What about your daughter? Oh, she can't help out, can she? Hey, she's too busy watching Paz and eating rusks. I'm just saying, I don't fancy carrying the other on one shoulder and that little one on the other. Well, my mum's looking after her. Everything sounds apart, my mate. Liz? Yeah, we've, um, really turned a corner, you know, now we've got the routines and everything. Yeah, she certainly seems more content. Anyway, I'll be in touch. Sorry I'm late, Shirley. I got held up. Actually, I'm just going. <laughs> I thought you were busy at work. Look, everything's fine, honest. Uh, Holly, she's feeding better. Taking to her solids okay. Yeah, Jason. And uh, when she's not with me, ma'am, she's with Claire from number four. She's a proper nanny, so she really knows what she's doing. Jason, I'm quite happy with how things are going. I was just saying, Holly seems quite content. Oh, yeah, it's a happy homestead here, isn't it, ma'am? So everything's okay. We've ticked all your boxes. Well, I'll still be making regular visits, keeping an eye on things, but I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. See ya. See ya. This is a happy homestead. Where do you think you are? Little out in the prairie. Yeah, I know, ma'am. It's some officials. They make me say stupid things. Anyway, why didn't you tell me she was coming? Well, I thought you had enough on your plate. Well, I was only in the rovers having a pint with Bill. Well, there you are then. An executive board meeting with your business associate. Well, at least you seemed pleased, didn't she? Hey, nothing to worry about. Look at you beaming from here to here. Anyone would think you were happy to be Holly's dad. Come on, button up. You want for the benefit? <laughs> oh, how long are you going to keep this up for, eh? Until you stop being a scab. OK, I'm doing night shift for a couple of quid less. That does not make me a scab. Don't mention it. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah, it's my own word. Do you know what? Anybody think you've been working half the night? The trouble is, Kelly, you're putting ideas into the reds. Yeah, I mean, the next thing you know, they'll be getting rid of us and bringing people in on the cheap. Well, they can't sack you. I mean, there's laws and that, isn't there? Oh, they could lie through the teeth, say that our work's not up to scratch. Yeah, and why should we work our bums off for a pittance while they're living the life of luxury, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, cos they all live in mansions, don't they? And they've got private jets and that. Yeah, well, they've spent a bit of money on the cars. Uh, can I suggest that if we're concerned about this, which we obviously all are, that we raise it with Mr Connor and Mr Connor? Count me in. Yeah, me too. Got it. Right. I'm going to take her to see her Uncle Todd next week. Nice one. So your time will be your own. You can go back to your bachelor boy ways. Good one, that. Mum, what do babies dream about? Milk. Noddy. Dunno. Shouldn't you be getting back to work? Only she's pulling one of them faces. You know, being self-employed isn't about sitting on your butt drinking tea all day. No work, no money. Well, I'm my own boss now. Jason, take the rest of the day off. Oh, cheers, boss. Don't mention it, mate. You used to pull faces like that when you were her age. Thing is, you never stopped. So, do you, you know, 
Feel anything for her? Sorry, forget I asked. Well, I don't know. I suppose I might do a bit. I mean, baby things are cuter than fully grown things, though, aren't they? What about puppies and kittens and that? Right. Well, it's like, you know, when you see a puppy, your heart goes out to it, doesn't it? Cos they're totally cute. That's nature, that is. So what you're saying is that you quite like her, but not as much as the puppy? Hmm, not exactly. I'm starting to feel like she's mine. Cos sometimes when I think about her, you know, I catch myself smiling a bit, sometimes. Mm. Oh, um, excuse me, uh, could we have a word, please, Mr. Conway? Don't tell me. You need counselling to put up with all the trials and tribulations you've had today. Uh, now, joking apart, Mr. Conway. Sally, just swivel on it. I beg your pardon? You know, that's how you change the height of your chair, innit? Swivel it about a bit. Look, I have wasted a fair bit of your time sorting my chair, and I'd rather not have to do it again tomorrow and the Look, day after... we have real concerns about our jobs. There's no need. Well, Carl's using cheap labour of a night. What's to stop you and Mr Connor doing the same thing in the day? That's not gonna happen, right? Carla's business is a separate entity. She's only using our facilities while she gets on her feet. It's got nothing whatsoever to do with Underworld. Oh, well, if you're sure... You have my word. Wow. Well, thank you, Mr Connor. Tell Mr Connor thank you. That's put my minds at rest. Thank well, you. Then. Good night, ladies. Oh, it's wonderful to have a top on that doesn't smell of sick. <laughs> right, you get off then. Enjoy yourself, Mum. Oh, I don't need telling twice. Hey, I've made a milk up with three bottles, so you shouldn't need it all. Yes, I know. Oh, look at you, you little cutie. Hmm? You've got your eyes. Oh, bless the little cotton socks. Will you go on, go? We'll be fine. Won't we, Holly? See ya. Two of my lovely boys. Hot Picard, Josh, up in half an hour. Oh, he loves that after school club, doesn't he? They're making cornflake cakes today. Anyway, how's what's her name? Casey. Oh, she was in a right state, to be honest. But I sat with her and I listened. And after a while, I honestly think she began to feel a bit better. I couldn't do it, me, listening to people's problems. Be as miserable as sin. Hearing what she's been through, it's really made me realise how lucky I am. I've got you. Two lovely children. <coughs> yes. We're the lucky ones, aren't we? Living proof, I am. I still have my moments, I know, but I've been through depression and I've come out the other side. Now I want to help other people do the same. Come on, who's for coming rovers? Oh, no, kept me out. I promised myself I'd sort out my makeup drawer tonight. Oh, you know how to live. Oh, no, you can't be too careful, you know. It goes off dead quick. Oh, never goes off. I've had my Parisian blue mascara for the last five years at least. Oh, no. Sally, you dirty mare. They have the germs. I bet you've got thousands of microscopic bugs hanging up your eyelashes. Hey, my eyes do feel heavy. I thought I would just tie out. Hey, what's up with them? We have had ructions in here today. Ructions because of you and your El Cheapo workers. <laughs> what do you mean? That lot of being fussy about the stuff. What stuff? One of your workers molested Fizzy's gunk. Another messed about with Sally's chair, almost put her in hospital. Hmm? Apparently. Right. Kelly, you better keep your eye on things tonight. Oh, what? Does that make me some kind of a supervisor? Yeah, if you like. Well, there's a couple of extra quid in my wage pack, eh? Nice try. Just keep your eyes open, yeah? Then if there's any more hassle, I'll know to talk to. Let's get you off to sleep, eh, Trouble? Oh, there we go. Go to sleep, my baby. Close your pretty eyes. It's time for little Holly to go to bed.
I know your game, Missy. Hey, all smiles trying to win me round. We best not tell Granny Eileen I sang to you. We'll never hear the last of it, eh?